Hello everyone, it's Mari here for Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be creating a clean and simple card for you today using the Shield Layering Frames die set. I'm also going to be using the Lovely Layers Rod and Reel die set that's so cute. I'm going to be using the Bitty Buzz Cutter for these smaller dies. I just love this Bitty Buzz Cutter. I just wanted to show it to you because oftentimes I use it off camera and so it doesn't get the spotlight as often as it should. But this is just a really compact little die cutter that you can purchase at honeybee stamps it works super super well it is super like i said super nice and compact for your desk it folds up really nicely and then you can just put it over to the side I'm going to be using this really great fishnet stencil as well for part of my project today. I'm going to start off here by using that on part of the shield layering frames die cuts. So I've cut this piece here from some white cardstock using that die cut set. And now I'm just using some Distress Oxide Tumble Glass to blend that fish stencil over top that fishnet stencil. Now I'm also going to be using the Adventure Awaits paper pad and I've used one of these shield layering frames dies as well. It's going to coordinate so nicely with the other piece that I cut from that die set and these are all going to layer together nicely on my card base which is an A2 size top folding card base. Now this is one of the little die cut pieces from the Lovely Layers Rod and Reel. I'm going to colorize this with some inks. I'm going to use some peacock feathers and old paper distress oxide ink to add a little bit of color to this fish. So I've just added a little bit of that peacock feathers to the top of the fish and then I'll just go in with that old paper and add a little bit of that to the bottom fish blending those two colors together. And now I'm going to assemble my rod and reel. I'm just going to be using some craft cardstock for the base of this piece. I'm adding a little bit of the honeybee liquid adhesive to those little um, eyelets or spots where the, the actual fishing line is going to go through. I've cut the fishing line from some gray cardstock. I'll just add it on there with a little bit of my glue onto those little eyelets where the fishing line supposedly goes through. I put it on top of the eyelets because I am going to embellish that with a little bit of um, Nouveau drops a little bit later. Now I'm going to cover up the real part of the rod with some black cardstock. I thought I would use gray for that part, but it wasn't showing up as well as I wanted it to. So I die cut it again from some black cardstock and I'm just going to layer that up in that way. Now I'm adding this really pretty aqua paper for the handle of the rod. I just thought that looked really nice with the red that I wanted to use for another part of this rod and then the tackle box. So I'm just going to add that onto that handle area. And then this is just that little bob piece that goes onto the fishing line. I made the base, cut the base from that aqua color, and then I'll just layer the other piece that goes with that over top with some red cardstock. Now that little piece is finished. I'm going to add that onto the fishing line. And I'm just going to kind of add it to the top area there. I don't really know if this is anatomically correct for a fishing rod, but it's just what I did for mine. Now I'm going to also add the hook, which I've cut from black cardstock to the bottom of that fishing line there. And I just love that Lovely Layers Rod and Reel set. I think it's so cool. It creates just this really realistic um, fishing rod that you can use in so many different ways. I'm going to assemble the tackle box now. I've die cut the base from red cardstock and I'm just, I've cut the top from that same gray cardstock that's in the fishing line and the handle I cut from black. So I'll just go ahead and add that on and you can just see how easy it is to assemble this little tackle box. I'm going to start to kind of assemble the card now. I'm going to add this piece to my base. Love that pattern paper from that Adventure Awaits paper pad. It's in true honeybee style, fantastic paper. And now you can just see the basic design that I'm going with here for my project. Like I said, super clean and simple. And I'm just going to glue the rod in this area here, which is going to still allow a spot for that tackle box down at the bottom. And then I plan to put the sentiment kind of right in the center of the project. I'm popping the tackle box up on a little bit of 
foam adhesive as well. And if you wanted to, you could also add some ink blending to the tackle box. You could add a little bit of ink blending to some of the different pieces of the handle. But like I said, I was just going for a really clean and simple look here using cardstock to do my die cutting today for the most part, except for the fish. And just showing you how you can assemble a card in a really quick fashion with these different dies. Now this sentiment comes from the uh, Fishing Legend Stamp and Coordinating Die Set. So that's a really great little set too. Um, has a die for every one of the stamps in that set and it works really, really well. Now I've stamped that out in black ink and of course die cut that out. And I'm going to finish off with a little bit of Nouveau Crystal Drops in silver lining. Just adding that to the little eyelets on the fishing rod where the line goes through. I'm also going to add a little bit to the handle of the, or to the front of the tackle box and to the center of that black reel on the fishing rod. And that's going to finish off my project today, friends. I hope you enjoyed this and I will be seeing you again very soon. Have an amazing day, friends. Take care. Bye-bye.